Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and this is how I edit a full wedding in under two hours. Are you ready? Let's do it. I have no time to waste. I've loaded my photos into Photo Mechanic, gone through, grabbed the crappy ones, and taken them out. I've got about 1,200 photos left to cull through, and I'm using Photo Mechanic because it is way easier for me to cull using this faster than Lightroom. There's no lag between images. You can see I can scroll really quickly. So let's go through, and I'm going to cull this. So anything that is a definite keep, I'm going to mark with a 2. Anything that is not, I'm going to mark, uh, not mark at all. So I don't like that that much. That's meh. That's okay. That's better. So there, I like that detail shot. You know what? I think that one's better. So we're just going to go like that. And the less photos you edit, the better your whole wedding is going to appear because you have more time on each photo and you also have the photos that are the best so you have nothing but awesome photos whereas if I left all 1200 in here we would have some very meh photos to mix in and so the overall impression wouldn't be as good as if we gave them more photos that at least is my logic you can feel free to disagree uh, let's see here having a nice drink there we go grab that sure so I mean the dress for shot is okay. I hate that it's on a plastic hanger. Always bring a wooden hanger with you. That's a nice little hack. Keep it in your car and then when you get to the wedding, if it's on a plastic hanger, you can switch the dress. Just a fun tip from Ryan, okay? Uh, they're going to have a drink. Yeah, that's kind of cute. They're doing the same thing. Perfect. Go through here. That's a great shot. That one's nice too. Perfect. Thanks a million. Okay. Sure, why not? Picture with mom. Great. So stuff like this where she looks a little awkward, I don't know. I mean, I could keep it in there, but I might get rid of it later. We'll see. Uh, that's a one. That's kind of interesting, I think. It's a nice use of negative space. I love the shadows and the light here. It's really great. And the expression, the photo's not the best there, but I love the expression on her face, so we're going to keep it for that moment. That too. Emotion trumps everything, in my opinion. So I always gravitate towards those photos the very most, even if they're not totally compositionally perfect. Now these are just gorgeous. What the heck? Mm hmm <laughs> Great. I mean, that doesn't really do much, but we'll keep it because it's setting the scene a little bit here. That I don't know what it is. So we'll get rid of that. Perfect. We'll keep that guy. Details in general, you want to keep lots in there, especially for blogs, publication, and for the bride and groom to remember because they spend a lot of time on all this stuff. So I'm going to keep a lot more than I would normally. And then worst case scenario, I can get rid of them after. Great, so we got the walk. Um, behind the head, don't really need that, so we're just going to keep the straight on. Sure, we'll keep that wide. Ooh, that's a great shot. Perfecto. So is he in focus? Press Z, let's see. No, he is not. Darn, well, we'll see if we can fix it in post. Perfect. So I don't want these to get too repetitive. I'm not going to keep a million and one of them, but I am going to keep all the main moments of them doing vows, any smiles, laughs, that sort of thing. And the more crowd shots, the better. Great. So you can see, I can't even imagine my life without Photo Mechanic. That's how amazing it is when it comes to being able to cycle and load photos very, very quickly. Great. All right, that's okay. That's better. That's cool. Decisions, decisions, huh? Awesome. And I'm going to keep some of these kind of casual moments because they're real. 
And so they're going to be able to look back and actually remember these moments, not remember a posed, oh, I remember when I pretended to smile. No, it's an actual moment where they were enjoying themselves. So we keep those whenever possible. Great, lots of guest photos. I know from when I got married, I never really understood why the guest photos until I got married. And I was like, man, these are my absolute faves because these are the people that I love. They might not be amazing to us as photographers, but they certainly mean a lot when you are on the other on the other side. Great, same with family photos, actually. So I keep more family photos than I ever did before for the simple reason that when I look back on my wedding, those are the ones that mattered the most to me because those were the people that came from around the world. Wow, what a shot. Great, perfect. <laughs> it looks like he's grabbing her butt. I don't know if it's on purpose, but... Do, 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 do. And I'm keeping more than I have to here. I can always get rid of a few, but perfect. Oh, I love that. They're having so much fun. This is the best couple in the actual world. Love them. Great. Ooh, that's fun. We got some bridge action going on. And this is what happens when you have a wedding in Canada. Nice. And again, I'm going to keep more than I need to of this. I can always call them out laughter. I don't really like that that much, so we'll just get rid of it. Out of focus. Perfect. That's great. <laughs> and again, if I have a real moment, I will take it. That's cool, too. Hmm, she looks a little sad there. Great. There's just so many photos, it's hard to choose and narrow it down because there's so many good shots. I'm going to take that for the ring. Perfect. I think that's not the most flattering photo of them, so we'll just leave that. Neither is that. Awesome. If you're wondering where this wedding happened, it was in West Kelowna, which is in BC. That's fun. Great. Gonna have a couple ring shots, so I'm actually going to skip those. Maybe have one of the guys, because I do not yet have one of his. Perfect. And again, lots of details, because details are awesome. Giant Jenga. What? This is the best wedding I've ever seen. It's just so fun. Wish I was invited. Okay. And you know what? I'm actually going to. Will I keep that one? Nah. Keep moving. Great. <laughs> Not looking very happy there. It's Giant Connect 4. How cool is that? Just saying. The real question is, how long is this going to take me? I don't actually know. I'm doing it live. I'm assuming it's going to be fast, but you tell me. Am I calling fast? Am I calling slow? Is this interesting? Is this the most boring thing you've seen in your life? Nice satellite dish shot. You always need one of those. Great. And again, just keeping lots of guest photos because... Who am I to know whether that is the most special person in their life or not, or it's just a random stranger? They can always ignore it if they don't like it. I have too many of that. I'm just going to skip the tent. Perfect. Okay, moving on. There we go. 
And again, if it's not in focus, I'm not going to waste time on it. But if it is, let's keep it. I love how small and intimate this reception is. It's really great. Food looks good. So I think the art to culling is not which photos you keep, it's which photos you choose not to keep. Because for every photo I keep, it's kind of diluting the overall power of the rest of the photos, right? If I give you two photos to look at, you'll spend a lot of time looking at both. If I give you a thousand photos, you're hardly going to know which ones to even look at, because that's just a lot of photos. So that's why it's better to remove and give them less and have them be the best. But I also am not getting rid of awesome moments either. S'mores? A s'more bar? What? We can't even get better than this. Coolest couple in the actual world. Great, and that is our wedding call. Okay.